guys and ladies and everyone around watching the videos. Uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today we have two, maybe three little simple installs on uh, the Civic and uh, the EL. Uh, the Civic, I'm literally just going to be changing up my fender washer uh, kit and be running the Speed Factory titanium ones. And on the EL, I'm going to be switching the, the bezel and adding the air fuel pod and the oil pressure pod. But I won't be wiring it up. I'm just going to be uh, having it ready because Mercer did order the O2 sensor. And um, I just got to go pick up the sandwich plate later on today. And hopefully next weekend we do the oil change and everything and get it all mounted. So I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what it is that uh, and what brand that uh, we're going with. You guys... Big thanks to Garage 16 as always. He came clutch. We uh, got the blocks uh, pod bezel for the EL, and we are going with the EQ's performance uh, analog uh, oil pressure uh, gauge, and also the EQ's analog um, air fuel gauge. So these ones don't come with the O2 sensor. You got to buy an OEM one or an aftermarket one for OEM and just hardwire it onto the car. Hardwire it onto the car, it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I don't really do well with wiring and everything, so I'm gonna leave it to the professional Mercer, let him do it as always, and um, get uh, a recording of it basically, so everybody knows how to do it up. I went with that brand because uh, I already have the AEM setup on the Civic and I wanted to go with a slightly more affordable setup on uh, Ashley's and not go so crazy and uh, try something different. Uh, that's uh, that's the reason why we chose the uh, EQ's performance. I think I'm pronouncing it right. And um, so now we're just gonna dig right into removing the uh, energy fender washer kit that I have currently on the Civic, and uh, add the Speed Factory ones, guys. So look who decided to come pay a visit. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice. My allergies are getting the best out of me. We have a special guest appearance on today's episode uh, from another than Mr. Kev E G. And he brought out the SI slash, yeah. SI. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to sound nice. And um, putting on U porn. Why am I putting on U porn? Because U porn is the shit. We're just gonna do these quick uh, installs and then uh, go for a little boot. No, take the ES1 and the EGL for a little drive during the day. I want to wash my car. It's so nasty. I'll let you guys decide if this car is nasty. Yeah, Leave a comment on the below if you think he actually needs to wash this car. I swear to God, if he washes it anymore, the paint's going to run off. <laughs> right, so basically, it's very simple. Grab an Allen key and start twisting away. I'm going to do one at a time just so the fender doesn't uh, fall, apart. fall apart or shift out of place like Kev said. Because he's a very nice guy for making fun of the car all the time. What a jerk. No, your mouth still looks... Yeah, you know, it was nice. I had a, a certain someone over here uh, help me polish up all the stuff at the Import Expo. So for the rad, the rad has to be done better. The rad does have to be done better. All right, guys. So basically, you need a 10 mil and these and just pop them in. What are these? These are the Speed Factory Titanium Fender Washer Kits. Big thanks to Garage 16, obviously, as always, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you know, if you guys want, hit up his online site. If you guys uh, want to order anything, like he's got one of the biggest online stores. And uh, he can get, like, almost everything. And there goes Kevin recording the engine bay, of course. Well, they got to see you before and afters. <laughs> Does it fit? Of course it fits. All about finding the right hole. Uh. All right, so that's one down, and uh, I'm gonna get to the other ones, and we'll be right back with all of them done boys and ladies and uh, everyone uh, I'm just gonna tell you the truth I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna tell you the truth man I I fucked up and something's forever gonna be one with the spooniest one forever now or unless until it falls off 
So I got all the, the nuts and washers all done. I didn't lose anything. Uh, I'll show you right now. Okay. So as you can see, all of them are done right through. They actually give it a nice little cleaner look than the, the blue energies. There's some other blue energies hidden in the bay that I should change. I did change they changed the ground that was an energy so now it matches the speed factory uh, valve cover kit and I said I wasn't gonna do it then it decided to do it so I changed the three and if you can see right there this little guy it looks meant when I took out the energy one I lost an allen key it went in we found it then we tried to get it out and I kind of wedged it some more uh like really bad so thank god the car is gonna go to mercer's and i'm gonna do the catch can and all that crap well not crap you know just frustrated right now and i don't want to hide nothing from my viewers i want you guys to all know that i am not perfect even though i like to think i am <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's in there no, i grabbed so another I had another idea to do after what's do that the, do the ones on the rat on the back put the blue ones on the back right here holding the rat up pretty good idea uh, that's another video on its own so we're just gonna jump to the to the yeah, you pods finish your anyways so we did it then we had to get it on and Honda being Honda they don't make things straight everything's on an angle so it's in it's not coming out that's for sure and this is why I don't like working on my own car but uh, yeah it's there they look beautiful now we're just gonna jump to Ash EZL and do the uh, the pod and uh the bezel and uh let's get to it okay, so i'm going to start with the oil pod basically just unscrew the backing and the paper slides off just like that we're going to keep this because i need this line put it into this box grab the bezel which side are you can put it on I'm gonna do how I have it on, uh, like my Civic. Do the oil pressure on the the, the right side, and you know the uh, white band on the left side. So, and then just screw it on nice tight. Oh, no crook. It's crooked. Kevin, you speak great Canadian. <laughs> Be recording. The ceiling. Add it to your YouTube video. People want to know this about this nice garage you got here. So that's it for the oil pressure. Okay, let me see. Is it straight? Uh, gentlemen, is it straight? Nothing Paul Ford or ever does yeah, is straight. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, now we got the white band. That one looks pretty nice. The We're silver. Ready for Fifty-nine bucks. The silver goes... Well, yeah. I didn't want to go with AEM on Ashley's, right? Like, I wanted to try a different brand. You know what I mean? And this one, like... Well, just the silver part. Well, this one, like... Will stand out. You don't actually have to run the O2 to the, to the exhaust and stuff like that. You just hardwire it right into the... ECU or something? Uh, like, I think the wires off the cluster that catches the air fuel band. Oh, okay. You can't go wrong. 56 bucks, Canadian. And that's both pods on. So, Mint. Yeah, it's all right. Now we're going to get hood and install it into the car. I think it catching. Yep, that was. Probably good by hand now. Should be out, it's a small screw. Yeah, it is. Just don't drop the screw. Uh, dude, when I used to have the OEM dash on the Civic, I never even had these things back in because. Yeah, mine I, doesn't have them. I used to have to pull the cluster out all the time because, uh, what do you call it? My uh, my old cluster would, the RPMs would act all whack. So then I was just like, screw it, you know? And just not run it. So, 
Just two little screws, little Phillips. This one doesn't to come out of the way. We gotta keep it in the door pocket, no sense. That's gonna come out once you pop it. Yeah. No sense in putting them back on. Since I will be taking it back off once we get to Mercy so you can wire everything up. Then you just fold it down. I should probably vacuum this. But I'll vacuum it at Mercer's. Because the previous owner wasn't that much cleaner. It's a hit or miss sometimes when you buy a new vehicle or a used vehicle, sorry, in this sense. Bottom first. Bottom first. I'll give you bottom first. And yeah, I'll put the screws in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the screws in. That's how it looks. It's not bad. It doesn't really cover much of the uh, important things. So, as you guys can see, it's in. I just gotta put the two screws back in, uh, make it tighter. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really obstruct much of the view. So I'll get you a shot as soon as I put the steering wheel and everything back on. So just give me a second. That's with the steering wheel and everything mounted on. So by next weekend, hopefully everything will be good. We'll have them in working condition. Really like how they look. They, they go with everything on the car. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, have them uh, nice and wired up uh, next week. So that's gonna do it for me and Kev today. Uh, that uh, easy uh, install turned out to be a little problematic. It turned out to be a B-I-T-C-H like Kevin just said. Uh, I can't believe I lost the Allen key in there, but hopefully with the vibrations it might just fall out somewhere on the driveway. Hopefully not on the road so it doesn't uh, mess up anybody else's car, but it's pretty wedged in there. So we'll, uh, we'll wait to go to Mercer's uh, when we do the catch can and everything else and uh, get everything else. So, you know, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the support. Guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe, hit the little notification bell. And don't forget to comment. Uh, don't leave comments like this guy. <laughs> Anyways, guys, have a safe long weekend and peace.